Have you ever wondered how some Amazon KDP publishers are creating dozens of puzzle books every week while others struggle to finish even one? What if I told you that you could create 10 complete puzzle books in just one hour, even if you have zero design experience? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Bookworld to create professional puzzle books that are ready to publish on Amazon KDP. So in this video, I will show you how to generate 10 unique puzzle books in under 10 minutes, the exact process for creating professional puzzle books and layouts, and how to batch multiple books. But first, let me show you why the traditional puzzle book creation is completely broken. Before I found BookBook, creating puzzle books was a nightmare. I tried using free online puzzle generators, but they were limited and time consuming. I'll spend hours creating individual puzzles, then more hours formatting them properly for print. Then I tried hiring freelancers on Fiverr to create puzzles for me. One freelancer charged me $150 for 50 puzzles. And when I received them, had a duplicate solution and the formatting was completely wrong for Amazon KDP. And I had to start over from scratch. And the worst part, after all that time and money, it took me nearly a week to create just one puzzle book. At that rate, I would never be able to build a sustainable publishing business. So there are two types of puzzle book publishers on Amazon. Those who spend days creating individual puzzles and formatting books manually, and those who use tools like BookBall to generate hundreds of puzzles and create multiple books in the time it takes others to make one. What I really like about BookBall is that it's specifically designed for creating low content books with powerful puzzle generators that create unlimited unique puzzles. So the first thing that you have to do is just go and click in the link on my description to open your account. Once you open your account, it's gonna look exactly like this. As you can see over here, BookBall already have some tutorials in case that you have any questions about how to use it, but now we're just gonna be focusing on how to create the puzzle books. And to do this, I'm just gonna go to this section over here and I'm gonna click in create. Over here, we have the Bookball Studio and the Bold Mask Cover Converter. From here, I'm just going to be focusing on the Bookball Studio and I'm going to click over it. Once we click over there, it's going to ask us the type of project that we want to create. So you can go, you can create a paperback, a hardcover or only a hardcover interior, only the paperback cover and the paperback interior. But since I'm going to be creating a paperback cover and interior, I'm just going to be keeping this uh, option. Now we can just go ahead and add the name of our project. So I'm just going to write puzzle book one. And then over here, it's very important that you choose your trim size, depending on the kind of book that you want to generate. So what I really like about this tool is that it follows exactly the right measurements for Amazon KDP. And you don't have to go and be sure that you're creating the right measurements for Amazon KDP. And I'm just gonna be using these measurements, eight times 10 inches. So I'm just gonna go keep that one. And over here, we also have to go and select the interior of our book. So you can go click over here. And as we can see, we have the exact same options that we also have in Amazon KDP. We have black and white, we have premium, and we have the color standard. So for me, I'm just going to keep it on black and white. And over here, we also have the option for the bleed. I'm going to be following the bleed since that makes it easier when I upload it into Amazon KDP, but you can also add it with no bleed. Now I'm going to be creating 40 pages for my puzzle book. So I can go and then just change it over here. You can just go and put 40 or the amount of pages that you want to add. But for this case, I'm going to be creating 40. And now we can click in create project. Now, as you can see, we already have our pages and we have our cover. I don't have to do any of the formatting settings that I used to spend a lot of time uh, when I was creating books on Canva. I just have it over here. I didn't have to do anything else. But this is just the cover. For now, I'm just going to be focusing on creating our puzzles and then I will get back to my cover. So I'm just going to click, first of all, in my page number one. So to begin with the creation of these puzzles, first, what you have to do is just go and click in this icon. Over here, we can see the interior templates library from BookBall. We have these journal pages. We have World Scramble, Missing Vowel, 
crypto program and all of these amazing options. So today I'm going to be focusing on creating a word search puzzle book. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to use this template. And what we have to do is just go and click over it. Once we're in this section of bookbook, what we have to do is just go and click the page that we want to add our word search on. And we can click in continue to options. Over here, we have to go and click in Amazon KDP guidelines. Since then, we're going to have all the settings done for that format. Now, over here, we have the words per puzzle. For my puzzle, I'm going to be creating 15 words per puzzle. And you can even go and select if you want diagonal words or reverse words. But it's very important that you have on mind how many you're going to be uh, creating per puzzle. So I'm just going to keep 15 and I'm going to keep it also in diagonal words. What is also very important on here is the puzzles per page. I'm going to be using only one, but you can also go and make it up to four puzzles. But for mine, I'm going to be creating one. What I really like about Bookball is that we can go and we can customize our puzzle. So from here, I can go and select the font that I want for my puzzle. And as you can see, it is many options that we can choose from. So I think I'm going to be using... Um, one of these amazing fonts. This one, I will try it out. And you can also go and change the text color, the letters color, the borders. You can go and customize your puzzle. Every time we generate one of these puzzles, what I also really like is that we're gonna be getting a solution as well. So as you can see, we also have the solutions and I wouldn't really change anything over here since when we create our puzzle, we will get directly our solutions. But in case that you would like to change something on that solution, you can go and click over here. Now, what is really important over here is that we upload our CSV file with the number of words that we select over here. And to do this is very simple. So I'm just going to be using Google Sheets to generate this CSV. And to do this, if you already have your words, you can just go and add them over here. But if you don't, like me, I'm going to go and generate my ideas using the help of AI. So I will just go and I will open my ChatGPT. And over here, I'm just going to go and add this prompt. Create a word cross puzzle book for kids based on evergreen themes of 30 pages. And for each puzzle, use exactly 50 unique and relevant words. So I'm just gonna be using that and I will just send it. So if you already have an idea of which kind of books you want to generate, you can also go and add it onto this prompt and it will generate the exact idea and words for your puzzle book. So as you can see over here is saying that we have 40 pages and we have all the ideas and themes for kids. If you want to make it for adults, you can also go and customize that. So we have animals, fruit, vegetables, and this is only the ideas. But over here, what ChatGPT will do is just go ahead and give us the 15 words and some text that we can also add into our puzzle book. But for now, I'm just going to go and copy all of these uh, words and I can go and paste it into my CSV format. So as you can see, I have over here my uh, words, but what you really have to be careful with is that you don't leave any space between all of your um, words. You can go and adjust them one by one. So I'm just going to go just take them and then just take them all the way to the top so we don't leave any space. And there we go. I don't have any space on any of the sides for my words. Now, what you have to do is just go and click in this button. And then over here, we're just going to go and click in download. Over here, you just have to make sure that you keep it on CSV format. This is very important. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to click in download. Once I already download my words, I can go back to my Bookball Studio. And over here, it's going to ask us to choose our CSV file. So I'm just going to upload the one that we just have created. I already select my document and I'm going to click in open. Now, as you can see, it's going to give you the instructions over here. So just make sure all the words are in column A and then the word and phrases are limited to 20 characters. So you shouldn't make these words too long. And we can click in continue to solution page. So as you can see in page number one, we're going to have our puzzle and the page number two is going to be our solution. And we can click in submit. 
And there it is. We already create a complete puzzle in less than two minutes. I would say like 30 seconds if you are able to put your words together very fast, you will create a puzzle in less than 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna make some adjustments since I think it's a bit too tight in the picture. I will just go and then select all of it and then I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller so it fits more like into the page, but you can leave it as it is. I'm gonna follow the exact Amazon KDP formats. You will also need to make sure that every time that you change something, you click save or you give it some times so it automatically saves. Just be always aware of that. And now I'm going to go and change the title of this puzzle. So to do this, the first thing that I have to do is just click over it and I'm going to click in edit text. From here, I'm just going to follow what uh, ChatGPT suggests. So we have Ocean Life, Control C, Bookbook Studio, Delete, Control B. And then you can also go and customize the font of this uh, title. So since I'm creating it for kids, I want it to be with a kids friendly font that appeals to them. So I think I'm just going to be keeping this one bad script that uh, seems fun. So I'm just going to go try it out. I'm going to click OK. And over here, you also have to click OK. So we have Ocean Life, but I'm going to make this font more big. So I'm just going to go click over here, text size, and you can go and then just adjust it over here. I think something like that will look good. So I can go and then just adjust it again. And there we go. We already have this on here perfect and what i also like to change over here is i just don't really like to leave all the solution like in the next page so i'm just gonna go i'm gonna copy all of it and then from here what i will do is just take it all the way to my last page and then from here i'm just gonna paste it over here so ctrl p ctrl c and then we have it over here and then i'm just gonna go and then add all my solutions on my last pages and once i'm back here i'm just gonna go select all of these and then just delete it and I can click in save. So now you might be thinking, yeah, that's easy to generate, but still takes time. What I really like about Bookball is when we go to this section over here and we keep creating our word search, instead of only create one by one and select the amount of pages that you can create. So I really like creating five by five. So I make sure that everything is just uh, placed in the right way, but you could even go and generate all of your book in one go if you want to. And to do this, we're just going to follow the exact same process. We're just going to go select our five pages and I'm going to click in continue to options. Over here, we're just going to keep the exact same settings. And the only thing that will change is our CSV file. So for this, what we have to do is just go ahead and add our 15 letters and then just leave one space. And then you're going to do that with the rest of your word search. So as you can see, over here, I have my five pages. I make sure all of them are 15 words. They are the amount that I also select on my book poll. So I have five over here. I also have five and then I'm just going to delete the numbers. I just add them there just to make sure that I have already the five uh, puzzles. So now I can delete them and I'm going to go and make exactly the same. Just download it and then just upload it in book poll. Now I already have my 75 rows and we can click in continue to pages. As you can see, it's going to add my puzzles over here and my solutions as the next pages. That is perfect because then I can just move my solutions to my last page. So I can click in submit. And as you can see, in like one minute, we generate our word search of five pages. So now what you can do is just go and make the exact same process that we just did for our first page. You go, you put this one in the last page and you keep customizing each of your pages. I know you might be thinking it's too expensive compared to free design tools, but here's what I learned. Those free tools cost me more in the long run between the time spent, the frustration and the poor results. It was actually losing money. Bookbulb pays for itself with just one successful book and the time saving alone are worth the investment. I also often hear people saying, I can just use Canva for free. While Canva is great for many things, it doesn't have a specialized puzzle generator. You will have to create each puzzle manually or import them from elsewhere. Bookbulb puzzles generate are specifically designed for KDP publishing with proper margins, sizing and formatting built in.
And once you finish all of your puzzles, no puzzle book is complete without a professional cover. And Book Vault makes this incredibly easy. So inside of our same book, we're just going to go in and go back to our cover. Over here, we already have our template that we have to follow to generate our cover. So the first thing that I will do is just go and add the element that I want in my cover. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to click in the shapes over here. And I'm just going to be adding my shapes. So I'm just going to go use a rectangle over here. And then I can go and follow the sizing of this book. So over here, just, just make sure that you don't do anything on the borders. Since it's exactly what we have to follow. So I'm going to make Ctrl C, Ctrl P. And also make sure that you always follow the um, template. So over here, we're going to make our cover. And this is our back page. So just to have that in mind. So once I already have this, I'm going to go and change the colors of it. And I'm just going to make this. And then use the same color for here. Ctrl C, Ctrl P. And then I already have this one. And then it's the exact same color. And then from there, I'm just going to be adding more uh, shapes. Now we can go and add our text. So, so to add my title, I actually not very sure how to title it, but over here, I just asked ChatGPT to give me some ideas of titles. So I think I'm just going to be using that one and I'm going to add it over here. So I'm just going to go make exactly the same, edit text. And then from here, edit text content and then just paste it what we had and also change the font since I don't like it. And there we go. We have our text over here you can just go and adjust it and there we go we already have our text so over here what you could also add is just some images of a puzzle book and to do this you can just go over here and then on here you can just go and search images in pixabay or own splash or you could even go and uh, upload your own images so you could do that or what i also really like to use is the pixabay element so as you can see i have this one over here and i can just add it on my cover as well so we already have some elements and we also have our text and you could go and add your images over here the covers that you can create inside football look professional and are specifically designed to stand out in Amazon search results. You can create variations for each book to test which designs perform better. I know some people might think I don't have any design experience and that's why Bookball is perfect for beginners. Templates are professional design and the interface is so intuitive that anyone can create a great looking book. Now that we already have our cover and the interior of our puzzle book, we can move on into download. We're just going to click in download and we're going to click in download current project. And over here, you can just go and click in printed books. So it's going to go and download each part of this book on the perfect requirements. So now that I download it, it's going to look like this. Over here, we have the PDF paperback cover and over here, we have the interior of my book. So as you can see, now it looks perfect and it's ready to upload it into Amazon KDP. Now, you might be wondering what a powerful tool like this costs. Hiring freelancers to create just one puzzle book can cost between $150 and $300. Creating 10 books manually will take weeks and cost thousands of dollars if you outsource the work. Professional puzzle generation software typically costs between 125 and 197 per year. But right now you can just get access to Bookball for just $9.99 per month. That's less than the cost of hiring someone to create a single puzzle. And if you're serious about building a puzzle book business, their annual plan is just $89 and $99. That's less than what most people spend on a single freelancer project. And I have amazing news for you. With my discount code, you could get an amazing 20% discount. So here's what to do next. Click the link on my description to start your three free day trial of Bookball. In the next hour, you could have 10 puzzle books created and ready to publish. By next week, you could have your first puzzle books live on Amazon and generating sales. Don't spend weeks doing manually what Bookball can do in minutes. The puzzle book market is huge and growing, but you need the right tools to compete effectively. So click the link below to start your free trial. I can wait to see what amazing puzzles you will create. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.